this out, my boys. This wallpaper I made for PCs and laptops has its own icon tag which blends in with the background. And the best part is, you can actually do this on your MacBook too. I'll show you how. The thing is, Windows and Macs have very different customization settings. Windows can have a wide variety of customization, while Apple products tend to be a bit limited. In fact, they really are going for sleek and minimalistic design, which is why you can't seem to personalize your iPhones, unlike in Android. But here's a witty idea that you can do to upscale your MacBook. So I made some wallpapers and icon packs that you can use. Unlike other wallpapers, these are actually made to fit Windows 10 icons. And some of these have their own custom icon packs as well. You can get them in the link in the description. Once you're on Gumroad, click whatever wallpaper you want to download. Make sure to click on the version you want to get, then type in the price. Click on see your seek wallpapers and there you can get access to the downloadables. Some of these are free, some have fees, so I can feed my fleas on my feet. Bars. Alright grandpa, time to customize your MacBook. First, move your downloaded wallpapers to pictures. If you can't find it, click finder on top and tick the boxes you want to see on the sidebar. Now drag the wallpapers to pictures. Open system preferences, search desktop and screensaver. Go to folders, and there you go, my boy. That wallpaper is looking too good for you, brain. Now, to change icons, you have to first create new folders. For this particular example, let's make a folder for recent files, a folder for your music beats or something, and a folder to hide your sexy photos. And we will hide this folder later together. To change your icons, right click on the folder, then click get info. Now open the image you want, click on this icon, then you press command C to copy, then click on this folder icon here, and then you press command V to paste. Do the same for all the folders. Nope, we're not done yet. We need to change the folder size so that we can fit the icons on the back. Go to view, then select show view options. Here you can see a slider for the icon size, just play with it. Chill grandpa! Again, we need to fit it exactly where we want it to go. So you can do that, just remove the snap to grid settings by right clicking on the desktop, then uncheck the snap to grid. Now move it to anywhere you want, Grandpa. No one is judging you, but wait, there's more. For ultimate hiding, you can actually hide the file text on MacBook as well. I'm sure you didn't know that either. Do that by going in the description, copy the blank letter I have prepared down below and paste it while renaming a folder. There you go, Grandpa. Now I can never see your sexy photos. So if you have another monitor for your MacBook, just do the same process again. If you have a Mac Mini, I'm pretty much sure the settings are relatively the same. And hopefully you enjoyed hiding your sexy photos using these wallpapers and icon packs that I made. Again, a link in the description. Now don't forget to spam the subscribe button because I will keep on creating some more wallpapers for y'all. And also follow me on Instagram. I ask my followers there what themes they would like to see for my next video. And until next time, my fellow Bakulian and Bakulian, enjoy this montage.